Hey y'all, you're in the market for a tonneau cover for your truck, specifically the Undercover Ultraflex tonneau cover? Well, this review's for you. Hey y'all, Bob here at Fins and Finds. Today I've got a review video for you today on the new tonneau cover I just put on my truck. I've always wanted a cover for my truck but never bought one. There's a couple scenarios that happened recently that made me realize this is no longer a want but actually a need. Maybe you can relate to a scenario similar to this. Come on man, this isn't going to work. How am I supposed to ride like this all the way? No, I can't put the rods in the back right now because we're fixing to stop it a little bit and then we have to bring them all the way back into the car and I don't want to have to mess with that. Let's just, it's not that far of a drive. Why can't we just aid at the gas station? I don't care if there's a McDonald's where we just filled up. I don't want to eat McDonald's. There's a Waterberg 80 miles away. You can sit with those rods in front of your face for 80 miles. It's not that big of a deal, okay? <laughs> or maybe this one here. Come on, man. How am I supposed to ride like this? It's a huge, but it's like 80 pounds. How much tackle you got in this thing? Hey, I'm sorry. I can't put that tackle box in the back. Okay, we don't have a cover. It's going to rain all the way to this thing. I don't want my tackle to get all the way wet. You got a crew cab. Why can't we put it in the back? How am I supposed to drive like eight hours to the lake like this? I can't even feel my legs right now. What do you mean put it in the back? You brought four suitcases. What kind of man brings four suitcases to a three-day fishing trip? There's no room back there because of you. So if you can relate to either one of those scenarios or something similar to that, then maybe one of these covers is in your future too. So this tonneau cover here is the Undercover Ultra Flex. Basically it's what they call a tri-fold design. Um, it's got hard aluminum outside so you can't cut through it easily and basically the design is you open your tailgate well for one thing you can't get into it when the tailgate's locked there's no way to access the um, mechanism but you open your tailgate once you got that you have access to these pull cords here and pull this first cord and it allows you to open it and it'll open in three different pieces you gotta fold that over now, you know, if you just want quick access to stuff right here in the bed, that's all you need to do. You know, just, if you want to open it more, you got one more cord here. Fold that over. And of course, with that, you know, you've got more access to the bed. Now, this position here, you, you can drive in it. But then the last option is if you need to have more access to your bed, this folds up one more time. And you've got these little pins here and just pop right in you got one on each side of the truck there pop that on just snaps right in in that position there you can actually drive at highway speeds and have access to about 95 percent of your bed which is pretty cool and one cool feature i like about this i'll show you is that when you are in this position as you can see, you've got pretty much all your bed opened. And you see that? That is not resting on your window like a lot of other models do. I do like that feature of it. These are solid metal, it looks like. And from what I can tell, they, they lock and they're good. Got a little plastic housing there. We'll see how long that holds up, but I don't plan to use it you know, in that position too, too often but it is there if I need it. And then of course, close it. Just pretty simple. Move those up. You can lock these back in the channels, wherever that is, I'm too short to see. Just pops right off. And then to close it, just let that drop. That drop, let that drop. And with this particular model, which I do like about it, a lot of other ones don't have this feature is that to close the tailgate, just close it. Some of these other trifold designs, you actually have to have this lifted up to close the tailgate, which it's a pain in the butt if you're not gonna even open that. If you sneak in something quickly, you know, kind of a pain in the butt to keep having to open this and close that every time you wanna do the tailgate. This one doesn't matter. Pretty simple design, I like it a lot. Okay, let's get a little bit of a closer look at this design mechanism. So, 
as you can see here, how that locks on there. You got locking on both sides. If you pull the cord, it does that. But pulling the cord here, either this side or this side, it doesn't matter. It unlocks both sides. So if you're on this side of the truck, you want to open it, or this side of the truck, you want to open it, you just got to do one side. To flip up, next section, same thing. Another cord, another set of locks there. So let's open this one more time here. Now in this position here, I've got it probably about halfway open. And if this is all you need, you've got these two straps here. I gotta adjust these, I haven't done it yet since I put this on the truck. But you can see it right there. You can adjust this. And again, at this position here, it's also safe to drive at highway speeds. It's not gonna go anywhere. And this way you've got full visibility out of your rear view mirror if you need to. So, you know, if you need more room to haul something, but you don't need the full bed, that's a, probably the best way to do it. And last but not least, if you don't go all the way open, say if you have concerns hauling a big refrigerator or something like that, and you like, even this way, you're afraid the refrigerator's gonna kind of come back and smash into that. If you could see this bolt here, one on the other side, if you unscrew these, saw this how the track, this whole piece comes off. You know, middle, you have this whole middle section off in 10 seconds and put it back on, it's another 10 seconds, super easy. And this model here also comes with light, if you want. Just turn that on right there. Give it a little extra light while you're, you know, working in your truck. thing I really do like about this design is that it's just low profile. I mean, it's nice, sleek look. But if you look at this low profile design, I mean, I see some tonneau covers that stick a little high. This thing, if I get even, you can see, I mean, it's just nice, low profile. And this uh, mat, it's matted, but it's like a brushed metal look. It just to me, it looks really, really nice. I mean, the aesthetics of this is probably one of the nicest ones I saw on the market. Another reason I chose this one. As far as installation goes, it's a very easy job. Check this out here. Okay, when you get this shipped to you, this is how it's gonna come. Nice box, looks like it's packaged pretty good. You got you right there. Manufactured in the USA, Rogersville, Missouri. And it looks like it's just packaged pretty good. Now let's get this thing opened up and see what it looks like inside. Okay, just lay it down, cut off the bands and took the cover off. And as you can see, it looks pretty well packaged. Got some nice bubble wrap in there. And instructions. And then there's the hardware. But looks like it's in pretty nice shape. No damage right now, but let's take it out and get a lot better look at it. Let's open more, and this is a light kit that came with it. Looks like it get nice and bright. Uh, here's the rails here. You can tell, I mean, they've packaged this nice, put foam where these are capped off good. Uh, got some more stuff there. I mean, everything looks like it's in very good condition straight out of the box. And then as far as the other stuff, here's some of the paperwork. Clamps are all nice packaged good. There's other clamps. We'll start putting this thing together.
that take like 30 seconds? What an easy job. In all reality, it probably took me about 30 minutes to do that job. It was super easy to do. Um, if I had to do it all over again, like take this thing fully off, put it back on, I could probably do it in about 10 or 15 minutes. Now that I've seen it done once, I haven't done it myself. Um, but again, it's something that I think anybody could do. I didn't want to do a full install video because I just don't want this video to be that long. There's plenty of great install videos online already. As far as the instructions go that they send, at first glance I thought they were pretty good, but they actually they weren't that great. It was kind of hard to tell by this, some of the diagrams exactly what to do. And also the weather stripping of the, of the bulkhead to send it to you, but nowhere in the instructions they tell you to put that on there. So I'm glad I did watch some other instructions online how to do this because I wouldn't know what to do. So yeah, uh, undercover, something you need to work on, better instructions. Okay, so my overall initial opinion on this is top notch. I mean, I'm super happy with this purchase. I think it's gonna do exactly what I needed to do. Uh, I love the way it looks, I love the way it functions. And now we'll just see if it holds up like it's supposed to. And now, thanks to undercover, on my adventures, whether it's going for fins or fines, I know my stuff's gonna be protected. Thanks, Undercover. How's that for a shameless channel plug?